Today, I'm going to show you how I created this eye inside Unreal Engine 5.1. But now, obviously, if I click play, this is happening. It's made up of three components, which is a blueprint component, a animation blueprint, and a control rig. The control rig is just a copy of the one that comes with MetaHuman's basic base control rig. And so I just copied that and made some minor changes. And then the animation blueprint, if we open that up, is just, if we click on the anim graph, because that's where the changes were made, and we come over here to auto blink, these are the changes that I've made. So it's just a few nodes. And what basically happens is there's a variable blink, which tells control rig how much to blink by. Also, these eyes aim, which moves the eyes from left to right, up and down. The normal facial pose that everybody has in the animation blueprint comes out, creates this facial pose. So that comes out of here into control rig. And then obviously, as I said, the values are applied. This cheek raise in here so the cheek moves as it blinks as well that goes into this blend poses by bool if auto eye is enabled then it will take the output of this control rig and pass that to this node here which is blend per bone that is normally in the face anim blueprint if not it will just take the face pose and just pass that straight through and that's it for the control rig and then we have this auto eye component. Now this is like the, the, the logic, the brain behind it. And what we have is various functions. We have a setup function, which sets up dynamic material instances for each eye. So we can have the pupil dilation. And that takes the face of the metahuman as the input. We have auto pupil, which is the actual movement of the pupil, the logic for that, it will take a blink value. That's how much is blinking, uh, the size of the current pupil, and then it sets a scalar parameter value on the material, which is um, pupil scale. As we can see here, look, pupil scale. We saw that earlier when I was showing you the material. We've got auto blink, which again takes the metahuman face in. And then it casts to the animation blueprint, the blink value. And that's all that does. Eye movement, which controls the eye up, down, side to side. So it takes a value into location and we make a transform and we send that to the animation blueprint here. Finally, we have an MBP setup, which is, I think this is lifted from MetaHuman Blueprint, the retargeting logic and what i do here is assess what the original animation mode and animation blueprint was it's usually face and mbp for metahumans and then if we have use auto eye enabled then it will set the animation mode and auto eye animation blueprint and if not it sets back to the original state which is face and mbp and it's that simple. Implemented inside the MetaHuman Blueprint. Let's open that up now. It's a little bit messy at the minute because I've been experimenting. So there's this auto eye component. That is the this blueprint here. And to do that, it's just add it like any other component. So I type auto eye. And here it is. And I add that. Then that gives me this functionality. When I right click, I can find auto I start, see it there. Then we start a timeline here. This is a pretty basic timeline for this particular project. And as you can see, this is the blink. So this is what the eyes are doing. So up here, it's full blink. Down here is no blink. And then this one here is the eye aim. So the eyes are looking right, then left over a period of 10 seconds. These values come out here. Look, So blink, the float value of the blink, then goes into auto eye update, which again is the functionality inside my component. Then eye aim goes into eye movement to make the eye move. 
I'm going to add some functionality to this soon. So, so the metahuman can track a particular actor in the scene. Maybe imagine there's a ball in front of the metahuman and it's moving side to side or whatever. The metahuman will follow the ball. I've done some experiments with that. There is a few things I need to figure out. Um, I'm not great with angles or maths for that matter. And it requires both of those. So I'm getting somebody to help me figure out exactly what I need to do with that before I release that into the wild. The auto eye update component. Let's go to that. And here it is. Basically, that is an event. We feed it obviously the blink value and the eye movement value. And then we take that. And if use auto eye is enabled, it will set the blink value and eye movement variables over here, which are then used by the other functions. So for example, auto pupil, auto eye and auto blink. They will take those uh, values over here. So we have blink value, current pupil current, and use auto eye, etc. Eye aim, yeah, eye movement. Up here is just uh, this setup functionality, which is auto eye setup. Yeah, so it triggers this, and then this will run our setup function and uh, an MBP setup. I mean, it, it's easier for you to animate your metahuman in. Sequencer, you can just do it with a uh, control rig or bait animation, whatever. But sometimes you might just want kind of uh, an idle, just playing by itself. Or like me, I just enjoy doing it this way. I, I can't tell you why. I just, I like taking the nodes and, and, and making like procedural animation. It seems to be a route that I seem to be going down. If you want to support the channel, you can go to the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. Alternatively, you can go to buymeacoffee.com and support me that way. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.